Hello everyone, this is Dr. Rupali Sherke working as an associate professor at electronics department in Walchen Institute of Technology, Sholapur. In this video lecture, we are going to discuss with the one of the solid state device, a microwave transistor. Learning outcomes. At the end of this session, students are able to describe the microwave transistors types of the microwave transistors and their construction and parameters related to the microwave transistors and they can also know few application areas of this microwave transistor. These are the contents which are going to cover in this video. Now before starting with the microwave uh, transistor discussion. Let us see what is the need of the solid state devices. Why we go for the designing the devices in a using the solid state? Because the solid state devices has a uh, has reduced the size of the device. There is a reduction of the size of the devices compared to the vacuum tube devices because it is not consist of any liquid or a gases to in while constructing as well as it reduces the packet plastic reactants which gives the react uh, re limitations for the high at a high frequencies. Also it reduces the transit time effect due to is uh, at a high frequency also there will be no phase uh, phase change in the signal. The commonly used uh, devices to construct the microwave solid state devices are the silicon and the gallium arsenide. These devices are being constructed using a molecular uh, beam epitaxial technology for the construction and they are designed the devices which are being designed because uh, has a high movability compared to the normal uh, mobility of the electrons. So, they are called as a high electron mobility transistor and these devices can work up to 1 gig, 100 gigahertz frequencies. Now, uh, micro integrated circuits, there are two types of micro integrated circuits. One is the micro, uh, microwave which is called as a MICs. In this, it is a hybrid of the slowed lumped element. So, solid, solid lumped element means it consists of the inductors and the resistors and the transit lines of the for the signal transmission and matching part. All these components are integrated in the uh, micro integrated circuit. And the another, another is a monolactic micro integrated circuit MMICs. In this, all active and passive components are fabricated on a single crystal. Now, based on this uh, construction micro integrated circuit, they are being classified. Uh, the first micro components which we are discussing is the micro transistor. There are two types of the micro transistor, unipolar and the bipolar. As from the name itself, we will understand that a bipolar means there are two junctions two junctions while in the unipolar there is a single uh, single crystal is being used in construction. Now comparing the two uh, devices bipolar and unipolar, a bipolar there are uh, three semiconductor doping regions are there, uh, three uh, regions are doped that is NP, PNP or NPN while in a unipolar one or two semiconductor doping regions are there which is uh, just uh, of the P and P type of and N type of material. A P type of in, in the P type of material a majority carriers are the hole and in a N type of material majority carriers are the electrons. Here both electrons and holes are the carriers in a bipolar here either electron or hole is a carrier. Here uh, silicon BJT works at a very high frequency, ultra high frequency to the S band and here silicon BJT or gallium FET works in a S to C band 
which are the range of the microwave frequencies. Uh, here this devices has a higher gain while this devices is better has a better noise performance as well as it can have a higher frequency of operation. Now a bi micro let us see one by one these devices micro bipolar transistor this bipolar transistors are con constructed with the planar in form hmm, that we will see in the next slides and mostly these devices are made by using the silicon. Now for designing of these transistors we use a geometry that that geometries are the interdigitalized geometry, overlaid geometry or matrix form geometry. The cutoff frequency that is the passing of the signals through this uh, devices, the cutoff frequency is near about 22 gigahertz frequency. Now let us, uh, this is a structural diagram of the bi microwave, bi microwave bipolar transistor. We can see here it is consist of a NPM silicon double diffuse epitaxial transistor. In this highly doped N type of substrate is being used across this N type of substrate the P type of material is being layered. It is being layered and there are the different terminals are being te taken uh, which are acting as a base metals and the emitter metal. Now let us see with the different geometry. You can see here uh, this first diagram, the A diagram is called as an interdigitalized construction surface geometry of the NPN micro transistor. Here in this layer, the alternating fingers, how we are holding the two fingers here, here the alternating two layers are being uh, connected. The one layer is of the emitter, one layer is of the emitter part and one layer acts as a base part. You can see uh, the this region is like a emitter and this is a base metallization. Now in the second part that is a, in a over layer layer across the uh, base layer the emitters are being uh, layered out, over layered of the emitter is being done. I mean some P type, N type of material is over layered on the P type of material. While uh, in the uh, matrix form, here the P type of, uh, P type of material or a P type of is over layered with the N type of material. These are the base and uh, metallizations and these are the emitter metallization. Yeah, a descriptive in a short interdigitalized large numbers of emitter strips alternated with the base strip in a overlaid large numbers of segmented emitter overlaid through the number of the white metal strip while in a matrix emitter that forms a grid and base uh, filling with the mesh of the grid with the P plus contacts. Now, when we consider the parameters, we are seeing the cutoff, we are measuring the cutoff frequency which is of the 22 gigahertz frequency. This cutoff frequency is given by 1 upon 2 pi t, where what is t? t is nothing but a transit time. A transit time which is given by t is a sum of the t j e b plus t b plus t b c plus t j c b. The suffix here, the, uh, the suffix are the T is the emitter base junction, J E C B is the emitter base junction capacitor charging time, T B is a base transit time, uh, B C is the base collector region depletion layer transit time and J B is a junction capacitor charging time. The next is a microwave unipolar transistor. The microwave unipolar transistor as there is a single gate, 
uh, this has it is made of the gallium arsenide why the gallium arsenide is used because the gallium arsenide has a high mobility compared to the other semiconductor devices due to this high mobility characteristics they are being used in the construction of the unipolar transistor for at a microwave frequency these devices are called as a metal semiconductor field effect transistor and due to this high mobility they are called as a high electron mobility transistor HEMT. The cutoff frequency is also 22 gigahertz frequency and it is given by the same uh, equation that is FT is equal to 1 upon T which we have seen in the previous slides. The gain of such transistor is in the range of 10 to 15 dB at 2 gigahertz and the noise figure is less than 1 dB. Okay, this is a construction diagram of the MOSFET, structural diagram of the MOSFET. MOSFET. Here, uh, a whole region is designed by the semi-insulated gallium arsenide in which a p-type of active layers are being used and the three terminals are being drained uh, by the ohmic contacts which are called as a source, drain and gate. In this a gallium arsenide, uh, N type of epitaxial layer is being grown on the gallium arsenide, fabricated by the gallium arsenide. Now, the last part that is applications of microwave transistor. This microwave transistors are used in as a low noise transistors. They are being used for as a low noise transistors amplifiers as well as at the low level they can be used as a low level transistors they are used in a RF uh, stage at the receiver side in the RF stage we can use such type of the transistors as well as for the uh, they can be used as a power transistors for driving the power amplifier. These are the few applications area where we are using the uh, micro transistors. These are the references. Thank you.